Chromakai continues to support athletes of all ages and sports in our region and is honored to be a sponsor of the Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame. The next inductee into the Hall of Fame is a woman who won no matter what jersey she was wearing. Dorothy Schwager Jansen was a champion volleyball player at George Eliot, UBC, the University of Saskatchewan, and the Canadian squad. Dorothy enters the Hall of Fame in the athlete category. The Central Okanagan is now a hotbed of volleyball talent and success, right from the high school level to national collegiate championships. Back in the 1970s, there was some pretty good volleyball as well. The George Elliott boys team won a provincial AA high school title, and the girls team would soon follow, led by Dorothy Schweiger Jensen. Growing up in Lake Country, Dorothy tried her hand at various sports, but volleyball would be her calling. From winning a BC high school title to capturing national university championships with both UBC and the University of Saskatchewan, and that first title was pretty painful. I didn't know we were going to win nationals. <laughs> you know? In fact, the night before we left, I sprained my ankle because we, Diane was a tough coach too. She wanted us to get this drill right, and I, you know, I was jumping or blocking or something, and I came down on somebody. The, ne the team went the next day, and I stayed and drove out to UBC every few hours through the night, like every four or six hours, and uh, got treatment on it, and I was able to join the team, but I didn't get to play for the first day or so, maybe even two days, and then we ended up winning anyway. Dorothy also played internationally for Team Canada in 1977 at the World Junior Championships in Brazil and in 1982 in Peru at the Women's World Volleyball Championships. Mm -hmm. You did get a chance to actually wear the Canadian jersey. Yes, I did. What yeah. was that like? Oh, that was so amazing. And those opening games and, and things like that at, at the World Championships was, you know, I, I still get tears in my eyes when I watch the Olympics because I just know what that feels like for an athlete, you know, to, yeah, know that you're up there with these amazing athletes and, and with people you love because by then you've built a camaraderie with your teammates. And... Dorothy was never the biggest player on the court, but played with a huge heart and plenty of desire. However, injuries would eventually take their toll. It was when I was on the senior team um, and I had, I had separated my shoulder in the first night of my junior national training camp tryout and I played for years with it not knowing I had separated it and you know it was just out and then it was I did have surgery at one point and then um, at the Worlds again or going to the Worlds I, I knew that I could never be as strong as I used to be and, and then we didn't qualify for the Olympics. So a number of us that were a little bit older decided, you know what, time to hang up the sneakers. Dorothy Schweiger Jensen is a member of the University of Saskatchewan Hall of Fame, the Saskatoon Hall of Fame, the Saskatchewan Hall of Fame, UBC Hall of Fame, and now comes full circle entering the Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame in the athlete category.